The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, Realist Puppet in the game. Today, we're going to be adding some power and disrespect to our mix down using clipping plugins. I'm going to play the example from the final hook because that's the loudest part. And I'm going to drag the first clipping plugin on there while it's playing and see what we can do. So what we have here is JST Clip by Joey Sturgis Tones, and as you just heard, it gets filthy. I've dropped it on my bass group, which contains a kick from Whole Loops Raw Hits Volume 1, a kick from the Kick 2 plugin, and bass guitar from Nexus. And this is gluing it all together with some clipping. Now this really took away the low end and the high end and focused it all towards the mids, which is a good thing and a bad thing. I kind of want the high end and low end back. So we're going to take all this disrespect and run it in parallel. Boom. We just created a dry chain below our clip chain. And I'm going to make sure my trim is all the way down. And now we're going to hear our clipped and disrespected low end mixed with our clean one. And without it, and back on. Very, very useful. And as you can see, we didn't really change the balance of anything. We just took it and drove it a little bit harder. Are your vocals sounding a bit weak sauce? Have you wasted countless nights only to be disappointed by your bland vocal mix? Maybe you're just missing the sauce. Introducing Lead Vocal Sauce, the powerful blend of Ableton effects that will have your raw vocals sounding so saucy you might just never use another plug-in chain again. Lead Vocal Sauce is available now only at wholeloops.com. Let's move down a group to our drums and try and do the same thing. I'll solo these so you can get an idea of what we're working with. Got some loops from Raw Hits and Hot Tropics. The next clipper that I'm going to pull up is called Event Horizon. And this kind of emulates expensive hardware limiters and also clips the way expensive hardware limiters clip. So let's give them a play and see if we could do the same thing. Style in some really disrespectful clipping and then dial it back to make it blend in with the song better. Now, unlike a limiter, this is adding tons of brightness and shimmer to our drums, whereas a limiter would try and be as transparent as possible in bringing up the volume of the quiet content. 
So now that we've got our drums bumping a little bit more, I'm gonna go down to the master chain since I'm not really trying to overdrive these synths and the vocals have already been processed with my lead vocal sauce preset available now at wholeloops.com. So let's just skip on down to the master. And I'm gonna pull this same plugin up on the master. I find the JST clip to be more for like grit and this to be used more for things that you might want a little bit cleaner of a sound for. We're gonna use this thing as a clipper again. Let's see what some soft clip does on the overall mix. Turn the outs. Actually, we're going to leave the out ceiling all the way up since we're doing our final push. We can leave this all the way at the top. Let's get the volumes closer. Without it. And with it. Well, there you have it. That is my overview of Clippers, the most disrespectful plugins in the game. Both of these plugins are in the $50 or less range, and they are an amazing addition if all you have is the stock plugins that come with your music software. These will really give you an entire new functionality to help get your mixes disrespectful. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in a comment below, and I'll catch you next time with another tutorial. Peace out.